Hey there, Internet. Jasmine and Brandon here with your video game news. So I love first-person shooters. You know this. Yes. I know you love Batman. Yes. We're going to have another thing to agree on, agree on soon because Gotham City Imposters is coming out. It's going to be a downloadable game on Xbox Live and I think the PSN Network also. And it's a first-person Batman game. It looks awesome. It looks a, really good. They have a trailer up now. Yeah. And it basically is groups of Jokers and groups of Batman. Batman. You know, people wanting to be like Batman to a point. Sewn up costumes to and a like point, hoodies though, with little wings on them. And yeah. Blowing the crap it's, out of each other with. It's the, a campy game. You're you're shooting people with, oh, but it with looks, bows and arrows and. I'm almost thinking launchers. like forget Call of Duty, man. All I'm all I'm going to be doing is playing Gotham City Imposters when this comes out. Until that comes out. Maybe oh. we'll see. I know you're not gonna play Call of Duty anymore. Oh no, I'll but... be getting it, but I promise you, when this is available for download, oh, yeah. it's no gonna one take talk a, to me for a week. It's gonna take a chunk out of my my video game time. This but is definitely uh, gonna be fun. yeah, be on the lookout for that. I'm really hoping to see what more they add. If they have like kill streak stuff, if they have stuff like that. Honestly, oh, that would be cool. You get a bat plane for five I'm, kills. I'm really hoping it's something like that. That'd but be awesome. We will keep you up to date on this as we learn more. Okay, so in one of the craziest mashups I've heard of this year. Sanrio's Hello Kitty is teaming up with Capcom Street Fighter, and I guess they're releasing a line of Street Fighter themed Hello Kitties. Yeah, it's gonna be like Chun-Li's outfit on Hello Kitty, which is absolutely adorable. I mean, I'm not a Street Fighter fan, so I'm not getting upset about like, oh, that shouldn't be on that. Is but it I just mean, Chun-Li, or is it gonna know, be other I don't know, that's just the main one they advertised, okay. so it could that's be the one other I ones, saw too. or it could be just Chun-Li. All I know, though, is if you're parents, you've got a little girl, or you've got a girlfriend, you wanna kinda like introduce to Street Fighter, what better way than with a Hello Kitty Street Fighter clothing? Adorable, see, while still Street Fighter. Yeah, I just want to see Hello Kitty Zangief, like, walking <laughs> around, doing, like, pile drivers and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Or, like, a, a Hello Kitty uh, Honda. Prediction? DLC. Yeah, here we go. Let us know what you guys think. So, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, one of the most fun games I've played in a while. I was really anticipating that game. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is probably going to be even better than that. Actually, it is. It's 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 completely re-engineered. All the characters are rebalanced, so it's so no one's more powerful than the other anymore. Um, but not only that, twelve, right? Twelve, 12, 12 playable, characters. playable characters. It's not going to be for download. Yeah, six for each side. I know on the Capcom side you have Nemesis, which awesome. people have been you know freaking out about. Phoenix Wright. Frank West from Dead Rising, which I'm that's pretty really sweet. excited to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then on the Marvel side, you got Doctor Strange, who sweet. I've been waiting to see in a game like this. That'd be Rocket cool. Raccoon, who I'm stoked to finally get some notice. Really, really awesome. Yeah. I, I, he's such a random character. That's he really is, cool and to it's put him cool in there. to see him like even thought of yeah, for this. Yeah, totally. Uh, Nova, which will be awesome. Sweet, sweet. And I know the one Cubby's most excited about. Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Oh, yeah. He has triple arrows and he has like a thing with like, he puts Ant-Man on the thing and it's like, oh man. Oh, he, put, he puts Ant-Man? He puts Ant-Man on his bow, he shoots it out. Ant-Man punches a guy, right? As a small Ant-Man, grows bigger, punches him again, knocks him on the floor, grows giant, like giant man, and then stomps on him. So Ant-Man is a really cool finishing move. It's Hawkeye's finishing move, it's the assist. Well, Don't even start with me well, on I'm this I'm just saying, thing. like, hold on, if, let's say you, let's say you play basketball and I drive you to the basketball game, and you win, do I win as well, because I drove you there? Because essentially that's all Hawkeye's doing. Hawkeye's yeah. just giving him a ride. He's not doing that. He's No, he's just giving him a ride. He trapped Ant-Man in an arrow So now he's being forever. a dick. Yeah, because he's Hawkeye, he doesn't give a crap. He's Hawkeye, <laughs> whatever. He's the best guy ever. I don't know, man. Let us know what you shady. think in this debate. So a little bit of weird news from overseas in China. Yeah. It was reported that a Chinese newspaper broke a story on a couple that was selling their children for money in order to play video games at an internet cafe. Yeah, um, let's start off with a disclaimer. Chinese newspapers are known to kind of exaggerate things, stuff like that, but for all accounts, we know this is 110% true. Yeah, I've, actually, I've seen a couple different websites yeah. post this, so I'm starting to think that this actually happened. Yeah. But they had three kids, not all at once, but they sold their first child for about $500, spent it almost immediately, then sold their second child for $4,600. And this is where it gets crazy. They had a third child because they realized how much they made off of the second child, and then as soon as they had that one, sold it again for another $4,600. Yeah, the, the husband in the situation's mom found out about it and reported them to the police. 
and when they were asked about it, like, don't you miss your children? They're like, oh, we didn't want to raise them. We just wanted money so we could keep playing. Like, and I love that that hasn't phased them or dawned yeah. on like that. It's really weird though, because I heard this story and it really didn't phase me as that shocking either. It was kind of just like, well, this is where we're at. <laughs> this, Selling babies for video game money. <laughs> this blows my mind, because like, I can get video game addiction. I've heard stories of people forgetting that their children are there. I can kind of understand that because I understand how addiction works inside the mind and stuff like that. But to the point of actually selling your children, well, I that's think, just not addiction. That's a psychological problem where you need to get checked in. I think the moral of this story is that video games need to be cheaper. <laughs> that's that's kind of where I'm leaving this at. You guys need to drop your prices because people are selling their children in order to play you. So, we just saw a full bigger trailer of X-Men Destinies. There's been little ones before hinting at what just the like, whole plot like the line is. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. This is actually showing a lot more of the story, the actual main characters revealing all of them. The ones you can choose from. Yeah. yeah. And so it's looking good. It's showing the different sides you can choose from, the way the powers will influence you. The way it works is you can choose from three characters. Each one has a different starting power. But then depending on who you choose as allies actually influences how your powers develop. You start so as say, an X-Men, and then you get to choose whether you want to be part of the Brotherhood of Mutants or the X-Men, which is actually really sweet. You don't usually get to do yeah. that. It's either just X-Men and the Brotherhood, Brotherhood are evil, but I'm a Magneto dude. I yeah. love Magneto. Yeah. So I always want to fight with him. Now I'm glad I get to. Yeah, I'm a Gambit boy. So I mean, Ooh. I'm so teaming up with him. Sorry, Ooh. sorry. Uh, but it's looking good, except for I do have some issues with the characters they've picked for who you can choose, because the girl just looks like your classic Asian ninja girl. like the Yeah, exactly. And then one of the guys looks like a complete ripoff of the Infamous. And so I'm a little worried about that. The other one's you kind of a little You could say Infamous creative. is kind of a ripoff on mutants in general. That is true. But it's still just, it seems kind of like they're kind of generic. It doesn't have much flair, much flavor, which I'm a little upset about because I thought it'd be more exciting new characters. I, it seems like they injected a lot more of that flair and flavor and, and, and the actual character into the ones already established in the Marvel yeah. Universe. Yeah. Which is kind of, that's yeah, how it has to be. These are characters that are, they're making up for the game. Yeah, it's true. You're supposed to play as them. They're just filler roles, really. So yeah, that's true. we'll see what happens. Cool thing though is, with how it works with the powers, is say like, you're Magneto, and mm -hmm. I'm the girl. When I team up with you, I get some powers of magnetism, not exactly like Ooh. yours, but it influences my powers. And so that's my cool. slightly have an influence of magnetism in her ability already, which is like, getting these big old like rock things to be able to use as a shield and a weapon. Nice. And so I don't know exactly how it'll work, but say with Magneto, you do that and then also you metal swarms around it or something like that. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how awesome. it works out. And like maybe if you team up with like Nightcrawler and you've got like some electric power, you're like electricity that can teleport behind them and hit them or something like that. Cause of course you're not gonna have a mimic power Very of cool. theirs. So it's really cool how not only do you influence the storyline by who you check, pick, but also your own powers. And so I'm definitely excited to see how it works out and it looks pretty, so. That it does. All right, that's going to do it for video game news this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube page. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Brandon. See you guys next week for even more video game news.